Hello everyone, in today's video we will set up our own weapon for the shooter module. I will do this again for the melee module in another video. The default weapon might do the trick for testing, but we need something that looks a bit better um, if we want to create our own game. So in order to do this we will need Unity, Game Creator and the shooter module. And obviously what I'll be showing is one of the ways to do things, but it can be done in different ways. So let's dive in. Now before setting up our scene I'm going to briefly show um, what something like this could look like. Um, so let's just grab some ammo. We have our handgun and as you can see it's a handgun now instead of a um, revolver. Now for this one I didn't actually change that much. I just wanted to see how easy it, is, it was to do. Um, but um, for the tutorial we'll change a couple of more things. So you know make sure that we actually have um, seven bullets, for example, in a mag instead of six. Um, have some different sounds as well, uh, just to make it a bit more interesting. So let's set up our scene. Now, in order to set this up, I'm just going to reuse our advanced UI scene. Um, it honestly doesn't really matter um, which scene you use. Um, let's call this. Um, tutorial gun there we go um, yeah it doesn't really matter if um, what scene it is as long as you have a player that you know can shoot um, you have uh, something to test out if your new gun works so you know an ammo box box to pick up a handgun or not even a box just you know set it up by default whatever you do as long as you can test it out um, that's the only thing that really matters now, um, the first thing we'll do is I'll, I'll briefly show how you're supposed to do this. So you're supposed to um, right click in your project folder, go to Game Creator Shooter and create a new weapon. Um, fill in all of this information, which you will have no clue how to do it. Um, you know, and, and that's the correct way. Now, the shooter module, a uh, shooter um, object doesn't actually have any stats regarding the, you know, the gun behavior, as you might see. So this is all just, you know, a couple of audio files, a model, you know, just a couple of basic things, animations. Um, but that's it really. So no, no behavior of the gun. I'm going to delete this because um, we're going to do it slightly different. Um, but I just want to show you... Um, the ammo first. Now the ammo is actually what determines how your gun behaves. Um, so yeah, it's a bit odd in, you know, in all honesty, it's a bit strange. Um, it's a slightly different approach. Um, you know, in reality, it doesn't matter at all. Um, you know, whether it's one file that sets it up or the other. Um, but yeah, it's a, you know, it's a bit odd. Now all of these. Um, settings you'll you'll have no clue how to set this up in in reality um but you know that's part of the fun right trying to figure it out and testing and trial and error all of that um i'm not going to do that in all honesty i don't want to go to trial and error just to set up a basic weapon um so i'm going to take uh, the easy route the route you're not supposed to be taking but um you know why wouldn't you so let's go here, um, shooter, I have, let's just look it up like this, um, slightly faster. So I'm gonna look up the revolver, um, this little icon here shows you that it's a game creator um, asset and we're gonna, there we go. So here we have our weapons, um, you, you know, you might see my handgun here. What I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to duplicate the revolver folder um, reason for this is you know a handgun is not going to behave completely different a handgun is still going to be in pretty much the same position in his hands anyway um, you know the animations will be the same so you know I'm not gonna set all of those things up and try to figure out how to do that if you know if it cannot already be done in an easier route so I'm gonna call this one 1911 um, because I think that's what my model is 
I might be completely wrong, um, but that's okay. Um, we're going to call these 1911 bullets because um, this time, unlike my um, you know short example, I am going to change a bit of the behavior of the gun. Um, so let's drag this in. Now, by default, this model will still revert back to the revolver model. So not even um, the model that looks like a revolver, but the actual one in the revolver folder. So um, we need to change that. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to rename this one, um, rename to uh, 1911. I'm going to rename this to 1911 as well. And we're going to rename this to 1911 as well. Now, these muzzles, I'm not going, even going to alter them, but at some point in the future, I actually want to alter the way the muzzle looks, um, add some cool effects, you know, make it slightly more interesting. Just want to make sure that I'm actually altering the correct files and not altering files for a gun I'm not using. So, you know, that's why I'm already changing all of that. Now, here, we're going to look up 1911. There we go. So that's our new model. Now let's actually open it up and as you can see that is obviously uh, a revolver. So um, what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, drag in our own model. Now I have one from um, I think it's called PBR Character Soldier. Pretty sure it's one of the most uh, popular models out there. It's really cheap and you know it's really cool. Um, Prefab and gun, there we go. And yeah, that's, you know, that's our gun. So let's drag that in. Um, that's about right. And I just want to make sure the, you know, the trigger is in the right place. Uh, there we go. Going to drag down uh, the muzzle. Um, so that it actually is aligned with, um, you know, our new handgun. And I'm going to take out the revolver uh, model. There we go. And that's it. Model set up. Now I'm sure, you know, this could be done slightly better. Um, but, you know, this is basically how you set it up. So, yeah, great. Um, let's look up our 1911 again. Um, there we go. So um, that's it. That's our model set up. Um, now there's a couple of uh, sounds here as well. So um, you know, draw holster. If you have different sounds, I would audio files. I would definitely recommend using those. I'm not sure I have them. I might have. You know, I have one of those audio packs with I don't know how many audio files. Uh, so I'm sure something is going to be in there. Now we're going to name this um, 1911 um, because this is the, the name that pops up in your uh, UI, I think. Um, and everything else we're going to keep the same because, you know, like I said, this is not actually modifying any of the gun behaviors. Um, it's just using the default um, aiming animations, which are completely fine, whether it's a revolver or a handgun, you know, doesn't really matter. Um, so next up is the actual um, bullets. Now let's make sure we rename this to 1911. Um, so that's the ID being used. Um, I don't want that to be the same. I want that to be different. I'm going to change this as well. Um, but I'm going to keep the actual name of bullets because, um, well, you know, they're bullets going to um, increase the clip size a tiny bit to uh, 7 um, because that's what uh, you know a lot of handguns are using not going to play around with infinite ammo but I'm going to decrease the fire rate a bit um, I think the default fire rate of the guns is really really high um, makes it you know pretty easy um, now these things speak for themselves, so auto reload, if the gun is empty, is it going to reload by itself when you just click shoot? I think that's a really useful um, useful thing to be in there. Um, you know, as a, 
as if you're playing a game you don't want to bother to have to manually do that if if that could be you know done this way so really cool um, you know the duration change the crosshairs the amount of time it takes to focus um, you know you can play around with this um, but it's good to know what the default values are um, you know just to make sure you actually um, you know know what to change so if you want focus to be faster than the default revolver you know there you go now charging is something that is used by default with the bow um, but you know if you have a game uh, like Halo for example a lot of the guns will have uh, charge times as well so you know laser guns plasma guns whatever so it's pretty cool to have that option in there now shoot type um, by default is set on raycast um, this is definitely the best option in there so it's literally raycasting a projectile um, the problem with this is that if you are using any type of um, let's say uh, you know time adjustment so um, you know think max pain matrix bullet time where you slow down time um, if you're using raycast um, your projectiles won't be affected by by this at all so they'll uh, they'll still go at its normal rate so there's no dodging bullets because even though everything else might slow down the bullets will not so you'll have to use projectile for that now if you want to get creative I definitely would recommend that um, shooting types would be um, raycast in general and that it would change to projectile um, when time slows down now I know this is a bit more work um, but it's definitely something I would recommend um, because raycast in general is better and for those moments where you are using um, you know slow motion um, you'd have projectiles that's definitely what I recommend doing if you are going to change time at all now um, this basically determines how accurate um, you know the shooter is uh, not every bullet is going to be pitch perfect um, one of the changes they added in um, um, one of the changes they added in the last update now I know burst fire is supposed to be in here somewhere as well I'm pretty sure I skipped over it but that's fine now I'm going to alter this sound to a 1911 sound and I'm going to um, alter the reload to a uh, pistol reload. Let's see if that's in there. Pistol reload. Well, I guess I actually do have a lot of <laughs> a lot of audio files. Um, so let's see. Pistol reload. There we go. Um, I don't know what the difference between one and two is, but it's pretty cool that we have all of those files so I'll definitely um, change the sound for drawing and holstering as well uh, just to make it slightly more interesting now the animations being used um, to shoot and reload um, shooting you know you don't have to alter shooting but reload is definitely something that um, will look a bit odd if it's not an actual revolver so if you have a cool animation for reloading definitely would recommend using that now there will be a couple of other settings um, you can play around with so the distance of the bullet the force of the bullet um, you know the trail the, again it's, you know quite a couple of things you can change here um, you know like I mentioned um, there's supposed to be uh, a new burst fire option in here as well um, not really sure where it is to be honest but yeah now the last couple of things are uh, on start charging and on end charging now this only applies if you are um, using the charging um, option uh, definitely check out rec um, um, looking at the you know the bow uh, arrows because um, they will have these states just to give you an impression um, what it should look like now on shoot is simply going to uh, toggle um, a variable and it's going to shake the camera which is a uh, you know a nice effect but completely up to you if you want to use that or not now um, because I apparently do have a couple of cool audio files I will actually look those um, you know 
pistol draw. Apparently, yeah, there we go. Apparently, I do have that. Um, pistol holster. And the reason I'm doing this is, you know, just to show you, uh, you know, just changing a couple of the audio files and, you know, the magazine size. Dear God, this is annoying. Um, really, you know, already gives you the impression you're using something completely different. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's pretty cool. So let's do it like this. And, yeah, we have our, you know new things here so didn't change much um, really only altered uh, magazine size and the fire rate um, I could you know change a couple of other values um, but I'm I'm fine with this you know it's not going to be that different um, but definitely recommend you know testing all of this out see what it really does changing recoil for example or delays or things like that now we're gonna hit play and if we're gonna hit play nothing will happen because we didn't set it up um, so we created all of this um, you know that's great um, but now we need to make sure our ammo box actually supports all of these things so let's add it to the actions um, so it has revolver draw so I'm going to simply duplicate this um, and look up the 1911 bullets there we go and this box is going to draw our 1911 cool now gonna hit play again um, and this time around it should all be working just fine so I'm gonna grab our ammo and we're gonna grab our gun now as you can see um, it reloaded our 1911 um, you know I drew that which is nice um, the animation you just saw for reloading obviously isn't optimal so I'd recommend changing that and different sounds for reloading that's already pretty cool magazine size is different and our fire rate is well in my opinion still slightly too high but yeah it's already a tad lower um, but yeah there you go that's how easy it is to actually just you know set up um, you know a new uh, handgun uh, obviously you know if you're going to be a bit more creative um, and set up um, really different types of weapons um, you know it can take a bit more time um, but you know I'd recommend just at least doing this and uh, you know just duplicating um, a existing folder um, with all of the things in there um, just to see how it actually goes um, and then you know you can do a complete clean slate um, for the rest of the setups um, but yeah you know it's pretty easy um, like this and it doesn't take a lot of time so there we go um, next time I will definitely set up a melee weapon as well as this is slightly different um, you know obviously there's no ammo there um, so it's going to be an interesting one so hope you enjoyed this and if you did please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time.